this this level can be a little bit of a struggle once you do it once because if you do it too fast the ending doesn't line up right and casually that doesn't usually happen but when you've done it before you can kind of do it too fast on accident and I forget where I used to like wait to make sure that doesn't happen there's a spot that's like really nice to wait on but I don't remember where it is Thanks for playing. All right, there we go. Six and a half hours. Thank you, Slick Eddie, for the nine months, my man. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it a lot. Let's head over to the Platinum list and add this bad boy. Alright, so this was Celeste. This was done just from my own desire. No one donated for it. Uh, for one on stream, yes. So, uh, difficulty is going to be kind of weird because I played Celeste semi-professionally for over a year. Um, I was one of the top Celeste players at one point. And so for me, this trophy was very easy, but usually this trophy would be very difficult. Um, so I'll probably have to go by uh, maybe maybe somebody else's uh, thing. The one thing that I can say is that the hardest thing about Celeste is the gold berries, and it does not uh, require you to get any gold berries. It requires you to get all the strawberries, which is not too bad. Um, and then it requires you to play the seasides. And the seasides are quite difficult. But not impossible by any means for anybody to do if they put enough time and effort into it. Um, if I look up a quick Celeste trophy guide, it looks like um, most people put it at like a 9 difficulty. But there is one specific thing um, that I will say about the trophies in this game, and that is you can use assist mode for the trophies on the PS4 version. I'm not sure why they chose to do that. Um, I They might have just not realized that putting the game on assist doesn't get rid of the trophies uh but yes you can set the game to assist mode which practically makes the game free uh anytime you die it just puts you right back where you were and it's incredibly easy to play on assist mode um so i'm gonna give the game a difficulty of a nine but i'm gonna put a note um where do I comment? Uh, I'm going to put a comment that says, can be done in assist mode, making it vastly easier. And then uh, fun rating. I would say the fun rating is pretty good. They don't make you get the gold berries. Um, which honestly, I think that would just detract from the fun factor because the gold berries are very frustrating for most people to get. I think they did a good job of making it challenging, but not insane. You have to do the seasides, but you don't have to do gold berries. Um, 
You have to get all the strawberries, but you don't have to do the dashless berry. So, I think this is pretty good. The only thing I wish is that there was a little more variety. Um, something like the Shovel Knight list, where it had, like, beat the game in under a few hours. Uh, which they could easily do, because of the in-game timer is incredibly precise to the point where even the speedrun community uses the in-game timer. Um, so you could easily have, like, a... A speedrun trophy that's pretty easy to get, like beat the game in under two hours or something. Just something to give you a reason to play through the game again. Um, this list gives you no reason to play the game twice. You do the A sides, you do the B sides, you do the C sides, and you get the platinum. There's no replayability factor here. I wish there was something like beat the game in under two hours. I don't know what else you could do. Uh, you know... Um, Shovel Knight had a beat the game without falling in a pit, but that would be kind of crazy for Celeste. Um, what? Oh, you know what they could do would be really cool is if they had a death trophy. Beat the game in under 200 deaths or something. That would be awesome. That would force you to actually like learn the game, practice the game, but not be ridiculous, like beat the whole game without dying or something. Just something that's like beat the game with under like 100 deaths or something. That would be really neat. So I wish they had a little more of that. Instead, it's just the collectibles and just beat every level. So I'll probably give it like a 7, I, I think is fair. It's good, but could have been better. And the reason that it's not better, I think, is just because they copied the Steam achievements. But they could have done something special for PlayStation. They could have said, like, you know, they could have added something cool. Um, also, there's no trophy for finding the dev room, and that would have been a cool one, too. Like, just a trophy for finding the dev room? I don't know. It would have been cool. Uh, did it glitch? No. My final time, because I speed ran it, pretty much, um, was... Where is my thingy? There we go. My final time was... Six thirty-two. Oops. Six thirty-two fifteen. So there we go. There's Celeste. Um, I'm gonna put a comment here as well, just to say like, hey, it's not gonna take you three hours or six hours. Trying to think, what does the guide say? 30 plus hours. That's what I was thinking. I'll say around 30 hours, dependent on skill. Cool. That's Celeste, our 105th Platinum. That was just kind of a random one we threw in. The next one's still going to be... Uh, Neo and then Skyrim to follow that up